This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. George Soros, we're doomed, Trump is coming. By Edmund Dober. Hungarian-born billionaire and globalist George Soros has penned a panicked rant saying the world is in trouble and democracy is in crisis, with fascist dictators running mafia-type states on the rise. Soros, a financial assassin by nature who loves to see color revolutions and democracy spread around the globe, decries President-elect Donald Trump as a would-be dictator who threatens the future of the New World Order. The billionaire Clinton donor is seeing his world fall apart unable to protect and promote democracy in countries like Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, Libya, Egypt, Ukraine, Philippines etc. Macedonia Online reports. In an article for Project Syndicate, Soros begins by mentioning how he lived under both Nazi and then Soviet rule in Hungary before asserting that various forms of closed societies, from fascist dictatorships to mafia states, are on the rise. This claim is confounded by the facts, which show that, the share of the world population living in democracies, has, increased continuously. Soros writes that in voting for Trump, Americans elected a con artist and would-be dictator as its president, and that his defeat of Hillary Clinton means America will be unable to protect and promote democracy in the rest of the world, because that policy worked so well on Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria and Libya. Soros also slams Trump's new cabinet as containing nothing other than incompetent extremists and retired generals. Explaining how he supports the European Union because it is a successful attempt at social engineering, Soros laments the fact that the body has become increasingly dysfunctional and its disintegration has been accelerated. First from Brexit, then from the election of Trump in the U.S., and on December 4 from Italian voters' rejection, by a wide margin of constitutional reforms. Soros also bemoans Russian President Vladimir Putin's alleged undue influence during the presidential election. At first, he tried to control social media. Then, in a brilliant move, he exploited social media companies' business model to spread misinformation and fake news, disorienting electorates and destabilizing democracies. That is how he helped Trump get elected, writes Soros. Soros says Putin felt threatened by color revolutions in Georgia, Ukraine, and elsewhere, without mentioning that Soros himself played a key role in bankrolling these contrived uprisings, as well as the color revolution being fomented against Trump. The irony of an ultra-rich elitist who has bankrolled the overthrow of innumerable governments insisting he cares about democracy and the will of the people is particularly rich. The whole tone of the piece is clearly fraught with concern that the populist movement sweeping the West poses a direct threat to the plutocratic New World Order that Soros has spent his entire life helping to build. He concludes by warning that the EU is on the verge of breakdown due to stagnant economic growth and the out-of-control refugee crisis, that Soros himself again helped create in the first place as a way to obtain political power. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.